What is up, everybody? It's your boy Sean here with Vital Purpose Coaching. That's www.vital-purpose.com. Check it out. I wanted to come to y'all today to talk about the most cliche and annoying thing you've ever heard. Affirmations. I know, I know, I know. All the gurus spout it. All the hippies love it. All these positive power people are telling you to look in the mirror and tell yourself you're happy and to tell yourself you're strong and it's just gonna happen bullshit because none of that's gonna happen unless you fully truly believe it deep deep down in your core and in your soul now affirmations can work there is a way to do your affirmations properly the best technique that I found to use involves just a few simple simple steps first off go join if you haven't done so yet go join my free Facebook group mindset mastery for the rest of us you can go and find that at www.mindsetmasteryfortherestofus.com it'll take you straight to the Facebook group hop in there answer a couple questions real quick let me know who you are introduce yourself and you can catch tips like this all the time anyways in that group, there is access to my ebook as well as a list of several different positive affirmations you can use and you can create your own too. So, how is this proper technique to do affirmations? How does it change things? Well, first, you have to understand that in order for you to believe something, you have to make it powerful enough to believe it. One way to do that is by getting yourself into a peak state. If you follow Tony Robbins for any length of time, you understand what a peak state is. And if you have it, just know that a peak state is a point at which your mind and your body and your energy and everything is at its top most level. And you can feel you can feel it coursing through. You'll feel goosebumps. You'll feel the hairs rise up on your arms. You can get yourself into this kind of a state by you know recalling a memory that's like super super powerful and getting yourself really amped up and hyped up. And honestly, you don't even have to be looking in the mirror to do this. It helps. I'm not going to lie, it does help. Because it allows you to visualize yourself in these different positions as you say the affirmations. Affirmations and visualizations, visualizations they go hand in hand with each other, guys. But check it out. First thing you want to do is get yourself into that peak state. To help do that, I suggest you stand in your superhero power pose. Y'all can't see my feet right now, and that's okay because I don't like looking at my feet no ways. But you want your feet about shoulder width apart. Stand up, chest up, chin out, arm, hands. You don't have to put your hands in fists. I do it anyways just because that's how I've always done it. Hands on your hips. Stand there like Superman or Wonder Woman. You know, think back to those old school comic books, man. Those superheroes had that real just, oof, off to save the day kind of personalities about them, right? Anyways, get into your power pose. First and foremost. Now, the affirmation that I like to start with best, once you're in this peak state, once you've got this mojo flowing, this momentum going, the first, first, first affirmation I want you to use is my affirmations are true whether I believe them or not. Because that's giving your unconscious mind a trigger to store everything you're fixing to say as absolute truth. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Absolute truth in your unconscious mind. Giving it a picture of exactly what you want for your life. From your life. So start. Get yourself amped up. Get hyped up. Peak state. Power pose. My affirmations are true whether I believe them to be or not. And then recite however many affirmations you want to use. It could be three, five, ten. It could be fifty. It doesn't even matter. All the affirmations you want to use, all the affirmations that you feel are pivotal and vital to yourself, and recite them. As an extra little life hack, you can either record a video or record an audio track of yourself doing this and saying these, for which you can play back while you're in the car or you drive to work or you're in the gym working out, or wherever it is you happen to be, maybe you're on the mower cutting the grass. Pop them earbuds in, hit the play button on the phone, and those affirmations are back into your unconscious mind. Because the more you can repeat them, the more you're going to build, the stronger you're going to build those neural pathways between your dendrites. We talked about that before. 
you can build those dendrites a super highway basically in your unconscious mind of all these things you're telling yourself and the more you believe them to be true, the more true you can actually believe in them, the more powerful you can make them, the more powerful they can affect your life. If you want more tips like this, like I said, go hit up my Facebook group, Mindset Mastery for the rest of us, www.mindsetmasteryfortherestofus.com. If you haven't done so yet, pick up a copy of my ebook. That's ebook.vital-purpose.com. Grab your free copy of that. It'll be sent straight to your email. And hey, you know what? Have an amazing rest of the day. I love you guys. See y'all next time.